Let's ride. What's up, guys? How's it going? Thanks for tuning in. We got a good one for you, man. We got 18 inches of snow. Like, we got dumped, Jeep Wave. We took the Hobby Camper Jeep. We went into the thick of the storm. Did a hot tent camp. It was awesome. Man, the Jeep got stuck. Dude, you're gonna love it. Keep watching. It gets cold, it gets snowy, and we camp in the woods. So thanks for tuning in. If you like the video, do me a favor and subscribe. Smash that like button. Give me them subbies. We're really growing. Good things are coming. But I need subscribers to help me out. I'll see you out there. Winter storm warning. End time. Saturday at 1900. It's Friday at 0730. So this is going to be a long one. It's the first major snowstorm of the year. It's a hoppy camper Jeep. We haven't gone over that yet. This is your first time seeing it. Um, we'll, do a, we'll do a rig walk around one of these days. Uh, but I'm going to load up the sled. Right there is the main road. We're going to cross the road. And we're going to go see how the river's doing. I got a couple of spots I want to check out. It's coming down pretty good now, so I'm going to get moving because I want to set up the hot tent on something other than snow. So there's a river. Right across the river is where we're camping. There's a nice flat spot right over there. What are we gonna do? We gotta get across it. I bought some waders, man. We're gonna put them on, we're gonna cross it. So I got them on, how do they look, huh? <laughs> all right, we're gonna go across. I gotta take all this stuff off the sled. There's a lot of stuff in there. I gotta take it off the sled. And one at a time, just, so I'm just gonna start trucking. It's the kind of snow, you put something down, you might lose it because it gets covered up, including your footprints. Look at this stuff on the ground. I was there for like 10 minutes. You can't even see the shovel. You can hear it, man, it's snowing out there. All right, I'm gonna set up the stove. Here's the stove, Jack. Look at it snowing. Oh, yeah, this is awesome. All right, let's set up the stove jack. Here's the pipes. Here's the stove jack. So it's gonna go through there. I'm just gonna cut a star pattern so it can just fit right through. See what I mean? So I haven't um, burnt the wood stove in yet. It's brand new. So what we gotta do now is we gotta collect wood and then we're gonna, we're gonna burn it. It's gonna be a long day of getting wood, man. Oh, this is a good one. And right near camp, there's the tent. Let's take it down.
get the fire going. You see it? So I just picked up a water filter. It's a bag style drip, drip filter. It's gravity fed, you fill up the bag. This is the filter. Connect the hose, connect the straw, connect the straw, hang this from a tree. And then this is the clean end. Put that into your bottle and you get water. Now we gotta hang it from somewhere. It's got good flow, that won't take long. All right, let's get some wood. Still coming down a lot. So you know why they call it hardwood? Because it's hard to cut. Got some water. Let's try it out. Huh? Tastes perfect. All right, I'm going to do some more cutting. Dude, I just ripped with the axe. Dummy. Um, anybody know what I can use to fix that? This is like, I don't know what material it is, but I love this jacket. Hit me up down below, would you? I, I, I want to fix it. Stoking the fire. It sounds like the snow picked up. Let's take a look. Yep. Gonna have a little bit of lunch. I think I got some soup in here. Just gonna have a little chicken noodle. Let me see what I got. Tortilla chips. Oh yeah. Classic noodle. Chunky. Some of these with the chips, yeah? I love dry bags in the snow because you can just put them on the ground. And they stay dry. So that was one of the selling points of this stove is that it has this, you can take it off and cook over fire. I don't know if I'd ever do that, man. Oh, that fits right there. Hey, we'll give it a shot. I am such a sucker for queso. <laughs> What a cool idea for the chips too, right? Put them in here so they don't get crushed like in a bag. That was my wife's idea. Good, good call, Mrs. Hoppy Camper. Do it on a snowy winter day. A cup of chicken noodle soup in a hot tent by a river. 
This is awesome. <laughs> it's dumping. It's still really, really snowing out there. We'll get out there soon and take a look. Fire, the wood stove's killing it. Uh, I gotta, we need some more wood. So, I think that's gonna be a, the theme. <laughs> this is really good. Let's take a walk, let's look around, see what's around. We're gonna lose daylight in about half an hour. This is a hot tent. The walls do tend to close in a bit. They close in, it sags a little. That's why you gotta shovel it. See how I shoveled the perimeter? You gotta shovel it. So, tent, this is a river. That's where we came in, I'll show you. Dude, it's a winter wonderland out here, man. I love it. It's so cool. Tent. River. That's where we crossed. We walked in with the sled. Behind me is some, some trail. It's, I think it's just forced. I don't know what it's for. But it's, it's a little bit of an opening, which is pretty cool. It connects to a cross-country ski trail so I wouldn't well, I would be surprised if somebody came all the way down here I mean, there's a river they ain't gonna cross it unless they got waders it's pretty deep Whew. this is work yeah dude this is work man I can't believe how deep it is There's the tent. There's the river. Alright with that. Be a 30. Like I said, we made it. Man, it was a lot of work getting in here. I've been up since uh, 0400. I got up and I, I hit the road at 0430. Got here like 730 and um, then we just started going. We've been going, been cutting wood, setting up camp. It's been, uh, it's been a lot, man. So well earned today. Well earned today. I bring you Juicy as Tuck. So it says this is a collaboration with um, a Hoppy collaboration, a Hoppy Camper collaboration. We should do that. You guys should call me. <laughs> uh, this is a Hoppy collaboration with 603 Brewery, which we've had. Um, dude, that was the that was the Winnie Ale and um, Hop and Grind, which is this awesome burger joint in uh, at, at the College UNH. 
and um, Tuckaway Tavern, which if anybody's ever heard of it or been, like, let me know what you think. Tuckaway Tavern is like, like you can't get in. Like, you need a reservation like way in advance. It's you can't just walk up and get in. It's crazy. Um, it's in Tuck. I think it's by Tuckaway State Park. I think that's the Tuckaway tie-in and the juicy as Tuck tie-in. Uh, well, it's a juicy IPA. Oh, well, I wonder if I wonder if it's hazy. Right a glass. 6.03% alcohol, which is also the area code for New Hampshire, 603. I see what you did there. That's tricky. Let's try it out. I got mosaic. Ah, always got mosaic. Probably some citra, too. Smells like it's got some malt in there. Grapefruit. And it's mild on the back of the throat, but it's got grapefruit, which is fantastic. And it's got some, some carbonation at the end of the grapefruit that just bites you a little bit, but doesn't last long, and then it fades quick. So not a lot of finish. But wicked good, man. Hey, look. It's also hazy. Hazy. Hey, I just met you. This beer is hazy, so here's my number. That doesn't work, does it? <laughs> it's fantastic. The, it smells more mosaic than it tastes, which is cool. And then the pineapples, or the grapefruit, just nails you. There's definitely some pineapple in there. Uh, citrus. Man, it's good. It smells maltier than it is. But it smells mosaic-y. It smells buttery and creamy. Mm. So, collaboration by, like, one brewery and two burger joints. Or, I don't know what Tuckaway Tavern is, what they serve, but, like I said, it's a waiting list to get in there. It's I'm dying to go. It's I don't know what town it's in. But I'm dying to go, so somebody take me with you. <laughs> they collaborated. This collab is fantastic, man. That's really good. That is, that is very, very good. Good job, man. 603 Brewery. I'm going to give them the most credit because they are the brewery. You guys nailed it, man. Dude, when you hear the you hear the, the snow, it melts and then it slides down. Dude, it sounds like somebody's like touching it and sliding their hand down it, down the walls. It's a little ooh. untapped. I haven't set up the account yet. I will. Been swamped. Uh, untapped. One to five. How do we rate this beer? What saith ye? 4.25. This is a fantastic beer. And I know I say that a lot on this channel. Uh, I mean, I run into some weak freaking beers, man. Uh, this, I just ran, you know, I have a lot of them in, in, the, uh, in the beer fridge. I just grab one and whatever I think is going to work, you know. This is the one I picked tonight. What I picked last night when I was, I was home, and uh, it was just weak. And I was like, I'm so glad I don't bring this into the woods because I'd just be dumping it out for my homies, man. 4.25, rock solid beer. Somebody get me in the Tuckaway Tavern. But do you remember, like, the last trip, uh, the cliff cliff top on a highway? That was wild, man. <laughs> but remember how cold it was? And I had, I'm just so sick of my junk sleeping bags. A buddy of mine, he's he's got family from good old French Canada, man. He, and they were, they're coming, they were coming up for the holidays, which is very soon. Christmas is very soon. And I was like, Dude, dude, I need this sleeping bag. It's it's only sold at Canadian Tire. You they don't ship outside of Canada. So I was like, dude, tell them please get, bring me that sleeping bag. And so he did. He hooked me up, man. He's a big fan of the channel too. I bet you they are now. Now that they see the, their product, dude. Thank you so much for hooking me up, man. And it wasn't easy because this thing's massive. So they had they flew. So they had to check it. I, I even had the tags on it, man. They had to check it. Check out the size of this sleeping bag. <laughs> Look at the bag it comes in. The sleeping bag bag. Migrator duck print. Look at that print. I don't know. What does it say? Minus 15 Celsius. I did the um. I looked. I did the conversion on that. It, that's like five degrees Fahrenheit. Like I'm so excited. Like Christmas came early for Hobby Camper. 
Thank you so much. Look how the walls are just closing in, man. We're making steak fajitas. Bunch of salt. Look at that. Alright, I'm going to eat. It's good. It's awesome. You see how much snow that was? It's crazy how fast it's building up. And then I gotta shovel the walkway around it. Wow, what a bunch of snow. This is so awesome. A little bit of wind moves and it dumps all the snow on the branches onto the ground. It just thud, 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 thud. I'm exhausted, man. I'm going to bed. Check out the sleeping bag. Good night. I just heard a bang. Not like a gunshot bang. I mean, could have been. It seemed kind of close, so not gunshotty. I'm good with gunshots. I'm, I've had it. I'm good. We had enough videos with gunshots. I'm good. But I haven't heard anything all day. And then I just heard a bang. Like it didn't sound far and it was coming from over there. The river is kind of right here. Dude, whatever, like, hope he cools it with the bangs, man. Morning. Ugh. Dude, it's still snowing. I can still hear it. Dude, there's so much of it fell. Look at the look at the walls of the tent. Look at that. We need to go shovel. I don't want to get out of it. This sleeping bag was amazing. This thing was awesome. Like so cozy and warm. Perfect. Just what it should have been. It was awesome. So glad I got it. Alright, let's go check out the snow. Dude, this is a lot of snow.
Dude, it's like up to my knee. This is so much snow. Ah! So there's the shore we came in on. And we crossed right here. It looks significantly more dangerous to cross. Like that slush can suck you in, man. I wonder if it's a little deeper too. Ah. Just emptying the catheter. <laughs> I'm adding coffee water. We gotta start a fire and make some coffee. I'm gonna pack up after I get coffee and Somebody's gonna get here and be like, oh yeah, free wood. It was here that I realized just how hard getting out of here with two feet of snow was gonna be. So this is where it's the deepest, right here. And the current is the swiftest. Just trying to knock you over, man. As soon as you get complacent in here, you lose your guard, man. You're getting wet. Look how deep this is in the middle, man. Look how deep that snow is. It's almost up to my hip, man. Those tracks are somebody's pull behind sled. They went snowshoeing up there. So I gotta start digging, man. I'm not too worried about down here, but that snowbank from the plow truck is dense. All right, so I'm just gonna like gun it, commit. So I'm gonna go make sure nothing's coming. All right, let's go.
Man, that was a lot of digging. <laughs> oh my god. Dude, it's 14.30. I started packing at 10. That's four and a half hours I've been like logging stuff and then the Jeep got stuck and then digging it out. I'm, I'm done. Oh, so glad that's all over.